Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about some of the annotations which usually we use in uh, X while writing the X path. That is like uh, parent, child, ancestor, descendant, following sibling, and preceding sibling. So, how to use these uh, in X path in a Selenium web driver? That we'll discuss today. As this will be the very important topic as in terms of identifying the web element, especially for dynamic web element, please watch the complete video so that it will be more uh, clear for you. Before directly get into the uh, actual tagging concept, we'll uh, see about some of the real uh, some real time scenarios so, so that we can relate it to this, this relationship bonding with the X path. Later, it will be easy for you. So suppose assume like, so you are here. So this is me. So this is my parent and uh, parents, parent is this one, this is a grandparent and grand to grandparent. Okay, this is the hierarchy of mine. And uh, my parent has three people like uh, elder brother, me and younger brother. In this example, I have three child. So child one, two, three. And the second child have again three child. For these three childs are grandchild to me. In terms of expat, if I say, so this parent is uh, immediate parent to me. And this is not immediate. These two are not an immediate parent to this tag. If you consider uh, this example carefully, so for me, this is the immediate parent. And for this parent, this is the immediate parent. And for this parent, this is the immediate parent. And for this tag, so in terms of if you consider these are the tags, okay. So if for this tag, this is the immediate uh, tag, immediate parent tag. And for this tag, this will be the immediate parent. And also this tag, this is the immediate parent. Similarly. If you consider this one, right, for for me, this is the elder brother, brother in this example, elder brother, and this is the younger brother. So to identify the parent, immediate parent, I can directly use the parent annotations, which are mentioned here. Okay. By using these parent annotations, I can able to, to identify this uh, immediate parent. To identify these parent, uh, all the parent which are out above for me. So I need to use the one more tag that is called ancestor. If I use this ancestor, right so i can able to find all three tags in this example for me these two are sibling elder brother and the younger brother so to order to identify this particular tag so i need to use the preceding sibling because this for this parent this is the first child and uh, this is second child and this is the third child for me these two are the siblings the elder brother and the younger brother to identify this tag the first child of my parent, I need to identify because before me, because before me, I have this child, right? So for that, I need to use the tag called the preceding sibling. I need to use the preceding sibling tag. So in order to identify the younger brother, I need to identify because after me, this child is there, right? So that's why I need to go for the following sibling. This following sibling, I, this tag I can use, I can go for the, I can identify this one, a younger brother. So in order to identify the child tag to me, so that I can go for the child tag and ancestor i can as i mentioned like ancestor i can able to find all this these are the ancestor to me okay it is including my parent immediate parent but in case of descendant so the tag which are comes under me all are considered to be a descendant to me which are all are considered to be descendant okay i have opened this page so before that let me show you what are the things are available here i have some text header and i have the uh, protect uh, protectbeach.com as well and here also we can see some of the tags this is a parent tag and also we have some of the fruit menu item and flower list as well so before that let me go and check so usually what we do while doing the xpath to identify this any one of the text so we will right click and inspect element <clears throat> what we do directly any we go for any one of the tag suppose i want to identify this tag what we'll do double slash so that will be the under the duke See, I able to identify directly. Directly, I can able to identify. Now, the thing is like, if I uh, go back to the slide, if you consider all are the tag, if we have the proper ID, so suppose we have proper unique ID we have available for this particular tag, so I can able to identify this parent. Similarly, if, if this parent has a proper ID or class attribute and unique ID or class attribute, whichever, so we can able to directly, we can able to identify this parent. While working with the project, we may come across some of the scenario, right? We need to identify, suppose this won't be having some proper uh, kind of 
the tag or unique things won't be there in that case we need to identify the suppose now my intention is to identify this parent so how to identify i know this tag i have a proper id or whatever we have what, 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 I, I, I suppose assume like i have the proper id or unique id i have for this my tag through this child tag i need to identify some parent the parent to parent or grandparent or whichever it is i need to identify in that case i need to go for the the special uh, tag something like parent or ancestor or child or descendant following sibling uh, with respect to uh, these are the tags we will going to use in the export we need to identify another element with respect to the different element in this example i need to identify the parent with respect to my child uh, child uh, tag for example if i go here so if i right click this web element we can able to identify so now i am talking about this tag let me go inside this is a menu 1 id 1 so menu 1 so if i go to the next it will show to another one menu 2 item it will show okay so similar like this in this example let me explain this tag actually so intention is like i need to identify the parent of the menu 1 item suppose assume like it doesn't have any unique uh, kind of id or class attribute in that case how to identify because i have a proper uh, this see in this example let me uh, this is the main tag under that we have a uh, sub tag as well that is child tag for this tag i have two child tag one is this div and the another div so this div don't have again the parent uh, child uh, tag and but this child we have again we have some different uh, child we have in this span and ul these two are different tag okay so in this example if we consider by uh, intention is to like i need to identify this parent object with respect to the child object by using this child object how to get the value of the menu one item i need to fetch this data by using the child object first identify the promo parent child then you need to identify the menu one item so how to do that that let me right click on this first we need to identify this inspect this element promo grant so we that is under the promo grant free text i can use that is under the span tag we have a unique id like id is called add one so let me use that or i let me use the free text so better i will go for the free text promo grant and let me paste it here see i i got this promo grant now i need to see as intention is to identify this tag so first i identify this one now i need to go to the parent of this this child parent is li so let me go to the li directly see i need to identify the parent of this how to identify the parent so double slash parent this parent tag see this is how we can use the uh, parent tag here okay i have used the parent tag here so what is the parent tag like? li li is the parent so now it is identify this parent now now it is pointing to the li now see carefully the this is this li parent is ui again i need to go for the parent again so parent of ul so parent double quote ui ul this is the, again the parent so this is the format guys okay we need to use parent double column two times the colon two times and we need to use the tag the parent tag id so so now, now i need to go still further because i need to identify till menu item 1 so till menu item 1 where it is is here this one i need to identify right? so still we are here again we need to i will go to the its parent immediate parent div let me go immediate parent div now identify this one now now we are in this div correct now let me go further so either you can go to the immediate parent of this later you can go to the immediate child we can come like this or we can go for the preceding sibling guys it is not following sibling following sibling means if you have any child to over here that is sibling now we have only one before this tag we have one more uh, before this we have this div right so we need to use the following uh, preceding sibling so how to use that again double slash preceding sibling and similarly double quote we have a div so now i identify the this particular tag see now it is identify the tag which you are expected you can copy this xpath and you can use it in your uh, program so this is how we can so this looks like very lengthy ones right so in instead of 
doing all these uh, big uh, X path. So we can still we can trim it into the small. Now we'll go to the tag which you are expecting. So this one menu item you want, right? So let me directly go to the div. So see, as I mentioned in the diagram, for me, whichever the tag we have, all tag we can able to identify with the parent uh, tag we can identify using the ancestor uh, tag. So I'll go to the ancestor now. So in this ancestor tag, so I need to identify because definitely this will be the parent of this. Is it a parent of this? No, this is not a parent of this. So what we can do? First, I need to identify this uh, parent uh, ID that is div. So how many uh, divs are there? There are multiple divs are available. So let me go to this div menu one. Let me go to this menu one. So where the where I need to identify ID at the rate of ID equal to. Okay, I got this tag now. Its immediate child will be the expected tag. So directly we can go single slash with the div, right? So this is how also uh, this is how we can able to identify this tag as well. If I use directly, see uh, maybe you may think like we can use directly the ancestor tag because it won't identify. Because let me you may think like if I use directly instead of this ancestor, we can use this as well, right? So this won't work actually. See, let me go go for this. At the rate of class equal to. See, this is this won't identify because this is not a parent of this, right? Because its parent is this one. This parent is this is the sibling of the another parent actually. It is not a parent of directly. It is not an ancestor of this. So that's why this won't work. So now we understood like so how to use the ancestor, how to use the following sibling. Preceding sibling also same like uh, how see so preceding sibling. Let me show you the preceding how, how to use the preceding sibling. So this is a span we have. So this is the preceding sibling of UA is the preceding sibling plus a span of this one. So let me identify this one right first. I identify this tag. I will go for the span immediate. See as we have the immediate child right the span and uh, so I in order to identify the fo following sibling. So I need to go for again following sibling iphone not siblings sibling okay you will so now we identify this uh, by using the following sibling tag this is how we can able to use the following sibling now how to use a child almost similar to that so child colon span so this is how we can able to uh, identify the span so as we have uh, multiple, see if I use double quote, we can able to uh, see the multiple uh, child as well because as this ID, the parent has the multiple child. So it is showing, keep on showing the IDs. So if you want only single child, you can use the only single uh, forward slash and you can use that. It is showing only the immediate span. Let me go for descendant. Okay, descendant uh, double colon and let me go for the span. So we have different uh, descendant available because as I mentioned in earlier uh, descendant means if I if I am here, so all below whichever the child tags is available, they all are considered to be descendant tag. It will come under descendant. That's why it is showing five tags here. Now all are comes under the descendant span only. See, all are the descendant only. There are five elements are available. Five childs are available to the ABC, the all the tag which are comes under the descendant, it will be con considered as a descendant tag. Okay, hope you understand the parent how to use child, ancestor, descendant, following and preceding sibling. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit like button. And if you have any doubt, please uh, put it in comment section so that I can revert back with the update. Please share with your friend those who are looking for the Selenium and Java concept. And uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel for further video. Thank you.